Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mark Nsangin from Techno Buffalo, and Google I.O. just wrapped up a few hours ago, and we finally got our hands on the latest developer preview for Google's next operating system, Android M. A lot of the bigger changes are happening under the hood with a focus on quality end-to-end. -end. But not everything Google is adding is just focused on performance. Let's find out what else is new. One of the major changes Google made in Android M was giving users deeper control of app permissions. In previous versions of Android, users had to agree to a bunch of permission requests when installing an app from the Google Play Store. But with Android M, apps can trigger requests for permissions at runtime. For example, a certain app wants to access your photo library, you'll have to grant that app permission to access your photo library. Similar to what we've seen on iOS. Android M will let you control eight different app permissions. Click on one and you'll see all of the apps that currently have access to permissions like phone, microphone, location, and more. Another feature included in Android M is Chrome tabs and app linking, which makes it easier for apps to talk to each other and link between different apps. For Chrome tabs, when apps give users links to websites, it'll create an in-app Chrome tab rather than launching the Chrome app separately. Even better, the in-app tab will still retain all of your data, including your profiles, your preferences, and passwords. App linking, on the other hand, eliminates the annoying box that pops up when there are multiple apps you can choose to complete an action. For example, when you receive a link to a Twitter post, you can either open it on Chrome or the Twitter app. In Android M, if you click that same link, it'll take you right into the Twitter app rather than having to decide between Twitter or Chrome. There's also Android Pay and fingerprint support. Android Pay is Google's new mobile payment service that's set up to compete with Apple Pay, and it'll be available at over 700,000 stores across the US. The new service will work at any payment terminal equipped with NFC. Android M will also bring fingerprint support to apps, which means devices like the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, Galaxy S5, and S6 are all set for future apps that bring fingerprint support. Android Pay in particular seems to be dependent on devices that have fingerprint readers, so we should expect to see more fingerprint technology in a lot more devices in the future. Google also updated Google Now to be smarter and more efficient. In Android M, there's a new feature called Now on Tap, which essentially is an assistant that listens in on your activities and gives you a supplemental info like store hours or movie reviews right inside the app or a website. For example, if a friend texts you with a dinner invite to a local restaurant, you can ask Now on Tap for reviews, store hours, and other info mid-conversation. All of this information will pop up as cards rather than kicking you out of the app, making it super easy to get more information without jumping around the OS. Unfortunately, we weren't able to try now on tap as the first preview doesn't offer it, but once we have access to it, we'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop. Now, another big change in Android M is Doze, Android M's newest power saving feature. Using the device's built-in motion sensors, Doze will know whether or not a device is in someone's hands and will go into a deeper power down state to save battery in the long run. However, it's smart enough to not turn off entirely since it'll still be able to activate alarms or wake up for incoming chat requests. Two UI changes that we did notice when we installed the first developer preview of Android M on our Nexus 5 was the app drawer and widget drawer. Inside the app drawer, instead of scrolling through your apps horizontally, your apps are now scrollable vertically. And there's also a recent app list at the top of the drawer, which shows four of your recently opened apps for quick access. As for the widget drawer, it changed a bit too. Similar to the app drawer, your widgets are now displayed in a vertical list, which in my opinion looks cleaner. While Google really didn't talk about it on stage, when playing around with Android M, we noticed that there's a new feature called System UI Tuner, which, wait for it, finally lets you customize the quick settings menu. This is something Android users have been clamoring for for years, so it's a hugely welcome addition. The interface allows you to drag icons around, remove settings, and even add new tiles. Google makes a new feature difficult to find in the Android M preview, and there's really no telling if this will be available in the final version. Hopefully, Google will make it a part of Android going forward. The infamous Easter egg inside the settings app unfortunately isn't working yet on Android M, but hopefully in the next few builds we'll see something exciting there. Right now, you'll just get to see this. Yeah. There are a ton of new features coming to Android M including USB Type-C charging, auto backup for apps, simplified volume controls, direct share, and more. Google announced that M Preview will be updated more regularly than L's, and specifically the updates will be issued over the air, so no need to flash the updates yourself. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.